actually starts tomorrow, but I figured I would bring you guys along with me while I get ready to start. So tonight I need to pack the kids' bags, pack my backpack, make myself a smoothie. I only have class for four hours, so I figured if I just made myself like my coffee at home and then if I made my a smoothie, like a protein smoothie, that that would be enough to hold me over. Today has been such a good day. I have been applying to scholarships like nonstop. I can't even tell you. I've applied to so many dang scholarships. I actually just told my husband yesterday, I was like, should I keep applying? Or like, I just feel like no one's looking at them. Like no one's seeing them. And I freaking got one, you guys. I got a $700 scholarship. I'm so stoked. That will cover like half of my tuition at NAU for next year. And then if I, um, and then if I get the PTK scholarship for being in like the honor society, then that semester, fall semester for any you will be completely free and hopefully I can use the excess to cover my tuition at Estrella so that would be dope if that whole semester could be paid for like oh my gosh I'd be so happy so yeah it's just oh, it's such a good day so when we get home I also need to do all the but I, it's fun for me I love it I'm so happy to be back in school being a student again like I I love school so so much I'm so pumped um, so I'm gonna go home after I eat and do all the aforementioned things um, I want to see if I can get like everything copied down into my planner I love that I want to print out all of my syllabi get those uh, put into binders or notebooks or whatever I can't believe tomorrow is my first day of nursing school Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I just, I can't, I can't freaking wait. So, but we're gonna go get Wendy's, we're gonna stop at the bank, and then we're gonna go home, and we're gonna do all the things. So I will see you guys when I get home. Okay, so we just finished eating. Ooh, lighting change. Okay, let's get the kids their bags packed for tomorrow. Okay, you want to bring Star Lord? Yeah. Okay. Sure. And you want to bring Catwoman? Yeah. I don't know who to bring. You don't know who to bring? Well, we have Star Lord. Is there anyone else you want to bring? Black Panther. Okay, can you go find Black Panther for me, please? Sure. So the fun stuff is packed. Sophia packed up all her stuff. I'm just throwing. Sophia's clothes in here, and then their toothbrush, toothpaste, all that good stuff. Yeah. Kids' bags are packed. The fatigue is starting to set in, but let's make breakfast. Those like perfect ratio never happens. Hi. Hi. Okay. I have Mickey Mouse pajamas on. Mm. I have two teeth that are, that are lost. Mommy, I want to tell everybody that I. I 
two teeth that are lost. I have two teeth that are lost. One is the silver one and one is just the blue. Mm. Bye, baby. So it's now like 8, 10 or so. My husband just went to go put the kids to bed. Y'all, I am dead. I am so dead. Like I did not think that doing all that was going to like take so much out of me. I thought I would be like so nervous I was not going to be able to sleep. But like it's 8, 10 and I still need to go like do my skincare and take a shower and blow dry this. I don't even know how many day old hair I have to do all that stuff that I don't want to do but I need to do it I just don't want to get up I shouldn't have laid down I should not have laid down and you guys I have looked all over the internet for a map of the campus because they didn't give us a map or tell us where to go they were just like be in the nursing lab at 8 a.m. tomorrow I posted in this little Facebook group that I'm in Asking if anyone knew if they had a map or if they could like direct me in any way of how to get there and no one has responded <laughs> and then another girl just messaged or commented and said following I've tried to look for a campus map with no luck so yay for that I hope the campus isn't big I probably should have been like an elderly person and gone and driven past it before but whatever here we are so yeah I am going to do my skincare I did not have time to go through all my syllabi and everything I will geek out on that tomorrow when I get home I get out of school at noon so I'll go get out of school grab the kids and then I'll come home and do that because I'm just like I'm too beat I, I need to go to bed so I'm in the shower do my skincare and I will see you guys tomorrow for our first day of a nursing school. I don't know. I'm rambling. Okay. I'm going to bed. Good night. I told myself that maybe he ain't worth it. Too bad I hate advice. Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect. It's so hard to decide. I'm so nervous, but we are here. It is 7.30. I just got filled with my husband. I got here like five, 10 minutes ago. So I got here with like 40 minutes to spare, but that's fine. I'm glad. Normally I'm like running late and getting there like right on time. So this is like a nice change of pace for me. Here we go. First day.
pick up the babies. Um, I need to go through all of my modules and like get back in. The it's really sinking in because like, I don't know if this has ever happened to anyone else, but like when you plan on doing something for so long, it's almost like it becomes like a fantasy. Like, you know what I mean? Like it was always like when I graduate from nursing school or when I get into nursing school or when I start nursing school, as if like it was like, you know, gonna be like eons in the future and like would never happen. And now it's happening. And I'm like, holy shit. Like everything that you talked about, like when you start, like you're in it, like that's right now. So it, I don't know. It's just like, I kind of like just sat there for a second and I was like, well, this is it. Like, this is a real thing. So yeah, I don't know. It was good. Hey y'all. So I am home. I'm on hold with financial aid right now about getting my consortium agreement signed and all that jazz. Um, so now I'm going to start printing out um, all of my syllabi and getting organized and knocking out some of this homework. But yeah, first day's over. It was good. We'll talk more about it later. So I just got all of my syllabi printed out and this is very unlike me but I'm probably going to have to go to Target or Walmart or something and go get some like binders and folders. I normally buy that stuff like after school like on after school sale when everything is on clearance but apparently I used it all or I decluttered it. I don't know but I wrote everything down in my planner all the due dates and everything. So I think I'm gonna put together a list of stuff I need to buy, cause at school they all gave us a list of stuff we need to buy also. And then get some homework done. Bubba, what are you doing? I was, I was just finding Oh, you were looking for me. Come here. I gotta buy a blood pressure cuff and a stethoscope. Uh, so you can be a doctor? A nurse, not a doctor. Oh. Yeah. Well, doctors do have that. They do. Doctors do have them also. What do we need to get now? We need to get a blood pressure cuff. What? Well, that's we... really hard to find. I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Wait. We oh. found one. We found woo. That was too easy. Yeah. I was wrong. <laughs> what? A, oh, hang on. Let me look at. My professor gave us a list. Oh, a watch with a second hand. Pen light. Okay. So pen light, stethoscope, blood pressure yeah. cuff. Go back in here. Sophie, you want to come help me pick out a watch? Okay. Good talk. I want to. Okay, well, this one's like the cheapest and yep. cute, so. Yeah. You want to get this one? Yeah. Okay. I'll do it. $240? Does this thing come with a case? I swear it better. For how much you're charging. Hi, guys. I'm just checking in real quick. Um, I just went and picked up my little brother. He is going to spend the night tonight. He normally spends most of the summer with us. Um, but I am just gonna get working on my homework. I'm dead. I am so dead. I'm so tired. I can't eat. Like, I cannot wait to wash my face and go to bed. Oh my goodness. But I'm gonna try and get some of these assignments knocked out. And yeah. So, I will check in with you guys in a little while when I'm done doing homework. I'm not used to this, guys. Like, I'm like getting really overwhelmed. Like, looking at all the assignments, I'm like, holy shit, it's a lot. But anyway, we'll just knock it out one thing at a time. You guys, look what I got. And, and this person. I feel so beautiful. official. Amazon is so fast. Like I just ordered that a couple hours ago and it's here. So I feel so official. It is so dang on cute. Here, let me show you guys. 
So it's just like black, but then like here's like how cute like are you joking me how cute so okay my husband is asleep poor guy he works outside all day so it's really hard to like follow him for passing out at like random times in the evening like he's exhausted let him sleep um i'm gonna get the kids in bed and then we're gonna have a chat about just like a whole regroup of our first day of nursing school. I feel like I never really got to like sit down and give you guys like a play by play of what happened. Why, what am I doing? What is, what is all of this? So now we're in my daughter's room. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys like a more concise like play by play of what happened for the first day. So when class first started, luckily we didn't have to do like any of those like say something and, interesting about yourself and whatever we wrote them down and gave them to the professor but like didn't share them with each other which is fine i mean i would prefer that honestly so we did that then we went over the syllabus we went over all the modules in canvas and she reviewed like all the assignments that we're gonna have due for the lab portion so the class i went to today is intro to health assessment we have a lecture and a lab for that class so today um, we only go in person for the lab portion so after we did the syllabus and went over the canvas modules we took a break came back and then we watched um, a video about health assessment and she broke down what all you know getting vitals entails and then the normal ranges for each of you know for each vital sign and then we took another break and then when we came back from that one, then um, she showed us how to do manual blood pressure, respirations, and uh, finding um, the radial pulse. So after she demonstrated everything for us, we broke off into groups and then we had an assignment to get three full sets of vitals. And then just to turn them in at the end, well, they told us we didn't need a blood pressure cuff or a stethoscope. So like not a lot of people had them. No one in my group had one. Um, so it took us like way longer, but we ended up going into another lab that was empty, but even the equipment in there, only one set worked, like one little station in the sim lab had a functioning blood pressure cuff and stethoscope. So she came in, the professor came in at like 11.15 and I knew we were behind, but I was like, oh, no big deal, it's 11.15, like we get out at noon, we have time. She came in at 11.15, she was like, hey, um, when you guys are done, you can go. And we're like, okay, <laughs> like we're not, we're not even close, but okay. And then she came back in maybe like five minutes later and was like, so like, where are you guys at? And we're like, we only had one set and even this, like, even that one wasn't working. Like it wasn't deflating back to zero. And I'm sure it was operator error. I don't think it was broken. I'm sure like, we just don't know what we're doing, but we didn't have a, the professor in there with us. It was just us in there by ourselves. So she ended up just saying like, two is fine. Like <laughs> you can just do two, go ahead and go. Um, Cause we were the last ones left. Like everyone was already left for the for the day by the time we made it back into the classroom then we just got our stuff and we left the other two people that were in my group they like bolted out of there i was the last one out and then i chatted with the professor for a second because she started asking me like if i was happy to be in nursing school and like obviously like even if i wasn't like i'm gonna tell you no like go on but anyway so it was a good day all in all so the class i'm going to be going to on thursdays that is intro to the nursing profession we will see what is good with that class on thursday and i will make sure to update you guys how that goes the next video is going to be my nursing school supply haul even though i really did not want to do one i wanted to do like like almost like an anti-haul kind of thing or like a budget video but that didn't end up happening so yeah i'll probably do a little supply haul of everything that i got and then, yeah, you guys, we're in nursing school, so that's a wrap. First day of nursing school in the books. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little, a little weird. Cause like, I'm just, like, I'm very casual. Like this, how I am, I'm, I'm like this all the time. Like work, school, whatever, like in any setting. Like I don't like act professional. I just like try not to like cuss, you know? Like I'm, 
I'm just like laid back to I talk to everyone the same with respect or whatever and there were a lot of people there that took themselves like very very seriously so it kind of made me feel like a little ditzy I'm not gonna lie but I am who I am like it's I don't know but I'm sure it'll all be okay it's only the first day so you've got plenty of time to get more comfortable but that's gonna wrap it up for this video thank you so much for watching i'm so happy if you're still here thanks for sticking around to the end thanks for coming along with me on my first day of nursing school i can't wait to look back on this video later like oh gosh it's gonna be great that is everything if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe down below if you haven't already leave a comment if you want to